Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to practically demonstrate a Java program for printing the array. Let's say there is an array like this and we have to print this entire array at a go. How to do this? Using Java, we need to print this entire array in the output. So how to do that in Java? So to do that, we have a predefined class in Java that is arrays class. It's not array guys, it's arrays, arrays class. Arrays class has a predefined method known as two string method. Using the two string method of this arrays class, we can do that. We have to first, we have to first write the arrays class and call this two string. And in this two string class, we need to pass this array. Now, this entire thing we have to put inside the system.out.println statement. Let me show you. System.out.println. Inside this, you need to put this arrays dot two string of which array? Integer array. So you can select integer array here. And you just need to pass this array here to this two string command. That's it. You don't have to do anything. It's very simple, guys. You just need to pass this array to the to string command of the arrays class in Java and put this entire statement inside the println statement. Now what happens is this to string method of the arrays class will convert this entire array into a string. You see the return type of this to string is string. This string we are printing into the output using this println statement. That's it, very simple logic. Now if you run this code, you see this entire array will be printed in the output. Sometimes we get a requirement where we need to print the entire array in the output. Instead of writing some complex code, simply call this to string method of this arrays class, which will convert the array into a string. And that particular string you just print out using the println statement. Very simple to do. Right click, run as Java application. See that the entire array will be printed as it is. The entire array will be printed as it is in the output. So hope guys, you understood how to write the Java program for printing the array. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.